Well, let me go ahead and done it. Cut the frame. All right, and uh, let me turn the radio down. A lot of the times when I'm fabricating, as you go along, you know, the wheels are turning in your mind, trying to figure it out. And uh, I have this junk foot tub I use just for mocking things up. And, um, you know, I'm looking at where it clears, where it doesn't clear, how much I cut out. All right, I know, uh, I know I said I was gonna cut the front off here. Well, we still may. The plan's kind of coming together. I have it drawn out, sketched out. We'll see. I'm gonna bend some test bars up and see how close I can get to that foot tub and see where I really need to go to get the suspension where I want it. So. Okay, so here we are. We're getting some work done. All right, everything's going pretty good, except for the fact that I dropped my new Samsung Edge the other night trying to film and shattered the screen. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucked. So I'm whole taping now with the new S7, not the Note. Holy Christ, no. I don't need my buggy to burn down. But uh, I'm making some really good progress. All right, I got some other pieces, pieces cut and notched, etc. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer in uh, tubing fitting the way it should. So, one thing I wanted to touch on is tube notching. I see a shit ton of videos on the internet, how to notch without a notcher, how to do this, how to do the other thing. All right, listen, I've been notching tubing since I was about 13, and let's just say I'm all but 50, all right? And a pretty cool, now let's put it this way. I grew up in an area that had its share of race car fabric fabricators. I was taught by people like Ed Quay, Donnie Meng, who was one of the only licensed jet car fabricators in the United States for a long time, God rest his soul. Uh, Donnie Carpenter, um, a lot of the guys who worked at s and it's just the area I live in. I've been doing it for a long time. All right, and when I was first taught how to notch, there were no notchers. You used a cutoff saw. You look at the tubing sideways, and you'd make a cut, bang and bang. And you'd end up with a piece of tube that looked almost like that. And I've done it so many times that, well, actually I got sick of doing it, so I bought a notcher. Let's be real. Harbor Freight has some pretty interesting tools. I'll leave it at that. You know, a couple things that maybe you'd wanna buy, a couple things that you don't wanna buy. But I have a $29 notcher. I mean, give me a friggin' break, people, for 20, 29 bucks, it, uh, it gets a job done, all right? So, I use my mill, I use a notcher. Uh, this notcher's actually modified, but um, don't spend friggin' 20 minutes doing the fish mouth or cope on a piece of tube with a grinder and a sanding pad because six or seven guys on the internet told you you can. Yes, you can, absolutely. Don't effing do it. Please, go buy a $30 not tubing notcher. Learn how to use it, all right? So, but I'm a firm believer. Uh, when you do a fish mouth or a cope, you don't want a gap larger than the thinnest piece of tubing. And that's what I was always taught. So, yes, I spend some time massaging them and cleaning them up just a little bit. But enough of that. So, I'm gonna finish the bars, the bar that goes back here. And then the little support bars that are gonna run back this way tonight. And then uh, I'm gonna keep going. Awesome. Okay, been doing a lot of work to the buggy. Haven't been really videoing stuff. Uh, I think I need to find me a teenage kid or pull my son off of playing video games, writing programs, and visiting colleges. Uh, that might be a challenge. I'm very lucky. My son is intellectually gifted and is 14 and has already been to Stanford 
and is visiting MIT and some other schools this summer. We'll see what happens, but I need to get him out here and tell him to do the video work. It's hard to fabricate, work on customer stuff, work a full-time job, and uh, try to keep video diaries of this stuff. Anyway, you can see the control arms I welded up and um, the framework. Today, I actually am going to be um, making the upper shock mounts and lower shock mounts, figure out the geometry on those. Um, you know, I like the weld stuff, what can I say? Buggy's coming along good. Um, there's about a total of 16 to 17 inches of usable suspension travel. Problem is, that puts the frame just about on the ground. I mean, I know a lot of people advertise a lot of numbers. I'm good with 10 inches if it's usable. Um, so we'll see. It's coming along since the last video. I know there's still things to discuss. Some of the geometry, uh, why I did things the way I did. Everybody's got a different philosophy and opinion. Doesn't mean mine's right. It just means it's the way I went about it. All right.